Ten years ago, actually, we uh, started with Chico Academy in 2011. That was the first one we had. And uh, it was quite interesting, actually, uh, when we did our first Chico Academy, because it felt like whenever we were talking about trampoline or skippy ball, like it didn't make sense to the students. And imagine to forward that 10 years. And now it's amazing because at the beginning I used to teach uh, with a friend of mine. And now like I'm not teaching, I'm overseeing everything. And it's quite amazing to see how the team is actually picking it up. And now they're the one like introducing it to the next generation. So for me, it's quite amazing to see how Chico Academy is such an important element in the vision of Chico. So the last Checo Academy and last fun fair was at 2019. And can you imagine it's been three years ago? At the moment, we are with 13 staff members and they're doing so great. So the team started out with four staff members. They developed themselves from being a student in the academy to being a volunteer at Checo and now being leaders. And it's amazing to see them really carry out the Checo vision. So in 2019, I was an academy student. We had the academy for a week, we had, we had our exams, we had then the fun festival. During this fun festival, that is when I started facing my fears because during the academy I was too shy, I would sit in the back bench and would be like, oh, we don't want to be selected to have the games, to have the play. Right now I'm so amazed and blessed to be the one teaching the Academy of 2022. At first I was shy, but with time, I had to face my fears. So welcome in the second week of the Academy. Uh, we, had one, we, had, we went through the training, we went through the selection, and now we are here training the students. The first week we had things like communication skills, and now we are here doing the practical part of it. You'll see us over time setting up the field and you see how everything will be built up. In the Academy 2022, I've learned a lot. I've learned how to make a business plan. I've learned like a golden taco. I can now learn a business by myself. I've learned a lot, I've gained a lot, even when I missed in my young age, for now I've recovered and I can now teach my young kids and the young generation. We are here finally and the fun festival has started. We have received a lot of schools, uh, the kids are out having fun. Children are running around, they are laughing, they are jumping on the trampolines and they are just having the time of their lives. Little children that are playing, developing themselves without even doing an effort for it. We got the four worlds, we got the world of imagination where children can uh, draw, where they get face painting, where they get to work with paper. Then we have the world of sports where uh, Emcheso, the, the turtle, is the boss of the scouters and the football. And then we have the world of leisure, a place where children can come and just relax and enjoy. Because I think we forget that being a child is quite intensive. They need time to play, but they also need a time to leisure. So they swing in the hammocks, they been read out of books by the academy students and um, it's just a fun place to be and to relax. And then we have the world of play where they jump on the bouncing castles, on the trampolines. So then we also have the theater. It's a place where the children come and do games. They play boys against girls. They have a competition. Uh, they get to know about the importance of play through the MCers who lead them on. And uh, it's just a fun time of being together. 
And it's amazing to see the students at the moment that has been trained last week. They're supporting the children uh, into the activities. They're be becoming real leaders and uh, helping those children to really enjoy their childhood. This is just a very small part of the, of the entire dream. We see in the future many schools coming here. We see in the future this entire plot of land full of a fan forest. We see a climbing forest. We see a camping area for families and schools to come and just have fun by themselves in this area. It's so tangible, like you see, you look around and wow, all that is for us to develop is amazing. Like it's such a privilege to see like, oh man, if you have a vision in your heart, the most important thing is to not give up. So if I could say one thing is thank you. Thank you for believing in us where we were so young, like we had nothing to show for ourselves. Now it's different because we had thousands of children that came through Checo, but back then it was really hard to keep on explaining the vision. Thank you for those of you being so faithful, investing in us, believing in us, cheering for us. Honestly, thank you. <laughs>